can't help but just get this girl on footage. She's so pretty. Good morning, internet people. Um, I don't know, work today, but I'm about to go home here in a little while. And I'm gonna go meet up with Tabby. She's got some shadowing to do for her, uh, what's that called, occupational therapy um, class that she's trying to get into. And so um, I'm going to go meet her for coffee this morning before she has to go to that. And two Spocks. Um, yeah, basically that's what's going on. So then I'll probably go home and do a bunch of editing and... Maybe play with Niles or something. I don't know. We'll see. I am off of work now and am going to meet a very special lady for for tea before tea or coffee, one or the other, before she goes to her um, occupational therapy shadowing day that she has to go to. I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick about just, I was listening to the radio, I'm an NPR listener, anybody out there, leave a comment if you like NPR, and I was listening to just about how in Syria they're, they're sending out these, you know, pirate broadcasts basically of a radio station to um, bolster, you know, or just to, to get the news out there, but also they, they've started doing music so that they can kind of just lift the spirits of people and... I just, it just makes me think again and again how, how great it is to be, um, where I am and, and how blessed I am. And, uh, you know, I can do these little vlogs and I can play my wonderful guitar and I can just all the different little gadgets that I have and all the little different blessings I have in my life. And I, I'm, you know, I, I don't worry about where my next meal is coming from. I've never worried about being, you know, going hungry. One one day of my life, I've never gone hungry. And, um, you know, I've, I've never been without nice clothes. I can always have clothes that fit me. And, and you know, I've always been comfortable. And I've never been ill with some horrible disease. I, I just, it's just so crazy how blessed I am. And... You know, sometimes I look back at the vlogs and I, I'm like, man, what am I complaining about all the time in these vlogs? You know, I've got it so good. Who cares? You know, really, who cares about my little tiny problems? And I, I just, I want to tell you guys that I, I apologize for any first world problem complaining that I've done that seems just like minuscule and pointless. Especially for viewers out there that are coming from places where maybe it's harder, you know, maybe you suffer and you look at my life and you're like, wow, you live like a king. And, uh, yeah, I just, I've, I've got to be thankful for what I've got or else it's going to get taken away from me. And I, 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 you know, I'll turn around one day and I won't have these amazing blessings in my life. And, and my beautiful wife, I mean, she's amazing, guys. She loves me even though I'm weird and even though I do weird little things and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> she loves me through everything. And she's in front of me actually in her car and we're, because she's got to go, drive to her place and I'm going to drive home after we have tea or coffee or whatever we're going to have. We're going to the river market to buy some produce for our week. So, anyway, guys, thanks for you know, watching and, and everything and, and, you know, leave comments in the, leave comments below and, and tell me about, you know, what you're thankful for, what blesses you above and beyond what you feel like you deserve. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Beautiful, wonderful woman. I was just talking about you on the, to the vlog. You were? Yes. She is going to shadow, I said this already, but you're shadowing with an occupational therapist, right? Right. And so you just have to watch like what they do. Yeah, take I Take a bunch or, of notes. I may or may not be with uh, clients today. 
It may just be kind of in offices. So oh. we'll see. Cool. And then from this you'll you'll have that what you need to or another element in the larger picture of what you need to get accepted into the program. Yeah, so th I may be doing this unnecessarily um, if I don't get accepted into the program, but if not, today I think you have a new experience. I think that... See if it's something that's really for me. God wants to give you the desires of your heart. He wants to. Hello, little bird. Oops. So we had breakfast here at the city market. It's the river market. Um, coffee house. It's all about the beans. What do you think of the iced coffee? Coffee connoisseur. It's good. The tea was amazing. Yeah, I got I got iced tea and it's delicious. And the coffee's really good too. Really, really good. I broke my no sweetener thing. I put a little honey, but it's like I would say it's probably local grown clover honey and it's super good. Probably. And I didn't put too much in it. Yeah. I'm dazing out, sorry guys. <laughs> it's okay. She's she's in work mode. She's gonna get some work done today. I'm proud of you, baby. <laughs> Alright, do a power stance, let's see it. Okay, yeah. Fingers together, temple, or what do you call that? Actually, you're supposed to like, do your feet like slightly apart. You're like... Ooh, power pose. Man, you look powerful right there. Who now listen to you? <laughs> <laughs> this one? Don't show your belly. <laughs> Now do do the running thing and then do it. Huh? Run, Run and then do it. Like you can't cross the finish line. And go past me. Wait, I'm gonna give myself up in the air. I'm gonna freeze frame it. In the editing, ready? Ready? No, no, no. I didn't get it. Do it again. So we got this chocolate at that coffee house. We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna try to open it here. Oh, it's just a whole solid. Oh, it's two. Oop. There's like in little pie slices. Oh. It's 70% dark chocolate. It's got it's a chipotle chili flavor. The sugar is too granulated, like they didn't melt it. Definitely. You gotta have coffee with chocolate. Oh, there's the heat. There's a little bit of spice. It's not too bad. No, I wouldn't expect it to be spicy. Chili mm. just adds a little... It builds, though, a little bit. You feel it building in the back of your mouth? I can take a lot of heat though. Oh, she's she's saying she's tougher than me. Do you me. remember the time that I ate like 10 chipotle peppers? Yes. And then you. my tummy was all bothered, but my mouth was. What about you guys? What, what do you prefer, hot or cold? And would you move if you found a perfect place to live that was not, you know, that was Maybe a more cold environment, or maybe a more hot environment, or maybe a drier environment, maybe a more humid environment. Which would you choose? Hello, kitty. Are you glad to see me? No. So, I wondered about maybe going to get a haircut. I noticed this is really weird. My shaver, it makes a funny noise when it's plugged in. Oh, there it stops. It's just a temporary funny noise, I guess. Where did I leave my shoes? Where are my shoes? Yeah, because I think Tavi is going to be uh, f 
like an hour or more before she gets here. About to go down with the hair. <laughs> People feel strange when I turn on the camera, but it's gotta happen now. <laughs> For the YouTube people that want to watch it, I can't rap. Because I sweat too much, and then all the product just runs into my eyeballs and <laughs> burns and stings, and it's not fun. Round or square? I've never been asked that. Internet, what do you think? Uh, rounded. It kind of does it on its own. Round or square, internet? <laughs> Can I go for octagon? Just kidding. There you go, internet. Haircut. Haircut time. Even upside down. <laughs> Dude, I wish, I wish my uh, focus had that spoilery thingy in the front instead of that one. Whatever. Anyway, figured I'm here. I'm gonna stop at Vintage Stock. Hey. So we're gonna go on another bike ride tonight, and Tabby is back home. She had lots of fun. Want to tell them a little bit about your fun? <laughs> I... Do I? It'll take me forever. Well, just like a sentence or two. Okay. Uh, I had a really good time shadowing. I worked with four people um, that were OTs and four clients. So you feel like it's something you want to get into? Yes. Cool. It was a definite fit for me. My personality it was just real laid back. People were funny. It was just, yeah, it was really cool. And now you want to go on a bike ride to just kind of get yourself back to, to center. Yeah, being a, John kind of helped me with this. When you're an introvert, you need to make time and allow yourself a moment to chill. And I have a husband who lets me. He even is quiet about quiet when I need him to be. And doesn't get hurt feelings. That it's important, rare. guys. If, if you're an extrovert and you're married to an introvert, read some introvert books. It really helps. If you want to have a happy marriage and you're married to an introvert and you're an extrovert, go read some introvert books. Introvert Advantage is a great one. The Introvert Advantage. It's a great one to read. Um, it'll teach you, it'll give you a lot of insight into that kind of thing. And it's very important because it's not just that, oh, they're just shy, they just need to get over it. No, it's an actual brain wiring. That's the way some people are. Anyway, we're going to go on a bike ride, but I'm not taking the camera because I don't have any pockets in these shorts. So I will leave you guys here, and Niles will, well, should I just, I wish I could leave it on time lapse and just, like, see what Niles does the whole time, but I won't. All right. Bye. Get mad.